Hi, Trisha here. In this video, we're going to be doing some watercolour negative painting. So we're going to be using watercolours, of course, and we're going to be painting the negative shapes. So we're going to be painting the outside or around the edges. And we're going to look at creating really crisp edges. I'm only going to be using one colour and we're going to let the white of the paper come through and actually become the sort of the body of the painting. So uh, let's get ourselves started. Okay, so you can see what I've done here is I've sketched out my design. It's quite light, I've not been really precise with it. Just got the main lines down and uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a download, I'll put a link to the download of the image if you want to use that. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to paint around the outside of the image because we want to make the actual white of the paper stand out that makes sense you'll see as I go along so I'm going to paint uh, lots of water here it's just clear water I'm using a nice big brush and I'm going to paint clear water all the way around and then I'm going to just come in and use a finer brush just to get really into all the sort of nooks and crannies and the corners and it's quite important on this image So I'm working on a watercolour paper, it's a 300 gram paper, so it's nice and sturdy and I'm using a squirrel brush, which is a nice sort of floppy brush and I've just got um, a, a Payne's Grey here, squeezed out on my palette um, and I'm just adding that in, you can see I'm just adding a little bit of um, moistening it up but I'm adding quite a strong colour. just adding some water to keep it flowing I don't want any of this to dry I don't want to get dry edges I'm gonna go with a slightly finer brush here um, this is just a synthetic brush but it's a little bit stiffer so I can uh, get tiny details is quite a small picture and uh, and there's lots of little little tiny corners and edges that I need to get into on this um, I do find that I end up leaning right in super close the more I'm concentrating so you can see here what I've done is I've added the paint at the top and then I've added water to wash it down so I'm going to do that um, in different areas just to give a sort of different effect just trying to get the windows in and you can see already how just creating those edges around the outside has made this little building stand out.
You can use any colour you want to with this, it doesn't have to be a Payne's Grey. Um, just remember that it needs to be quite a strong colour um, that creates a kind of quite a bold uh, mark. I think maybe something like a very pale yellow really wouldn't wouldn't show up the crispness of the edges. And obviously use more than one colour if you want to. Try and remember that you're not painting the buildings in. Although we're having to paint some of the sides of the buildings, try not to go all the way round the outside of the buildings. You kind of want the lines that you create to draw the eye, so it creates mental lines for in there, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, if you're really stuck on this and just not sure, then the first thing to do is just find all the windows, find all the windows and all the doors and just go around and, and block those in. Then hopefully you'll get a sense of where each building is. And uh, <laughs> my cat's on the table. <laughs> and then you can, uh, you can come in then to each individual building maybe and, and work out what you need to put. So I'm trying to keep it that I've got all the sky on that top right hand corner and then all the shadows on the sides of the buildings are on the left hand side. So that's a good way to remember where you're going. So I don't really want to put any paint on the front of the buildings and obviously I can't see the, the right hand side of a building. Um, so I've got nothing on the front but I've got paint on the left hand side of the building. So here I've got this sort of archway here, I'm going to fill this in and, and I'm using that water to wash out the paint so it's not just a really heavy block of paint. Be really careful not to lose these edges. Um, when you're adding water on, that you don't lose that edge there. Can you see? I want all of these sort of windows or arches or whatever to come down to that edge, and then I want it to stop. That that's like on off stop start is what's going to create the effect that there's a and you see there I've created that line across there even though I haven't painted the line in each of these windows stopping creates that line to make these really nice and crisp See, I've got another one here and up here. So 
I need to come and make sure that all those are nice and nice and crisp now. Super detailed again, <laughs> getting right in there. I just want to darken this up above here now. There we go. Just to create that edge at the top a little bit more. And just want to make this look like a, a slightly sharper roof here. So can you see this line here around? There we go. All these edges are made up. Um, just from the negative, the not space. So I'm just gonna come in with some pen. I'm doing this quite quickly because the paint is still wet actually, so I should really just wait for it to dry. But I'm just gonna come in and put some teeny tiny details so I'm not going all the way around the outside be really careful of doing that but there's a few areas in here especially in this middle bit where I need a bit more detail so if I was working bigger I could paint it in I'm just going to put a tiny bit of pen in you can see there Can you see here, this edge creates this block and these windows and this roof here. And then this edge of the sky here creates this roof. Um, I've got a bit of an open space up here, so, but I want it to sort of create a line across the top there without adding, I don't want to put all sky all the way round. Um, but I want to give the impression of a line here so maybe I can work into that in a minute and then I've got see these tops of roofs here I want to give a little impression here that that edge comes down let's have a see here let's pull that down very slightly so I'm just turning the corner I'm not really putting a straight line down. Let's have that flow back. There we go. So can you see now? I've just turned that corner and now there's a kind of there's an invisible line down there. I've got lots and lots of edges here creating the shapes of other shapes. See this the side of this building creates the side of that building where these stop create these lines for this sort of I don't know what it is this bridge or this diagonal running through then these windows stopping creates the top of this bridge here so have a good think about how you're going to represent the edges of your buildings 
have some fun. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then take a look at my website. I've got on-demand courses, online courses and in-person courses. I'm sure there's something there you'd really enjoy.